Howdy folks, here we go again. Pooch is in the t-shirt shop and he's about to pump out some shirts using Transfer Express. Y'all stick around, he'll show you how he does it. Yes sir. Now Pooch has already cut all of these uh, transfers down. All of these were on one sheet, which was called a game sheet. But I've already cut them down to individual transfer pieces uh, for the way I want to use them. That iron sharpens iron is going to be a front, and that little pathway logo is going to be a back on uh, in between the shoulder blades. And of course, that's a full-blown country black logo and a small full-blown country black logo. Now, I got plans for these, so y'all will just have to stay tuned and see what I do with them. But we got to get the heat press ready. So um, let's get over here and get this heat press fired up and ready to go. Now, running the shirts I'm running tonight, I'm going to be using the Stahl's Hot Tronics clamshell. Clamshell auto open and easy slide where you can weave them shirts over the platen or under the platen, through the platen, and press to get those backs as well. But let's get this thing fired up so it's get to heating and we can get after it, knock these shirts out. Yes, sir. Pooch has got the press on. And uh, this particular run with these uh, goof proof uh, transfers calls for a temperature of 365. Now see, I've already got it set for 365. That's going to be my pre-press timer of five seconds. You always want to pre-press your shirts to get all that moisture out. And then the time that it's going to press is six seconds. As you can tell, it's pretty quick. So um, this thing will run. Each press will be 365 degrees for six seconds. And it should come out just the way I want it to. But the press is heating up. We've got her ready to go. It's going to take her a few minutes to get heated up. But as you can tell, I've got a uh, paper up here on the top platen that will protect it. Silicone pad on the bottom that will protect the bottom platen. You always want to keep your heat press platens clean clear you don't want any type of transfer to get on it whether it be goof proof whether it be uh, ultra color max ultra color soft especially sublimation that's the number one th goal and key to keeping your heat presses clean clear so you don't transfer odd other colors from other transfers onto your next run of your next shirts because believe me especially when you're messing with sublimation that stuff will transfer over to your other shirts but while i'm at it let's move to the next step why it's heating another thing pooch likes to do while the press is heating he likes to get his pressure set on it now this particular run these are like i told you earlier i'm going to be printing these on heather military green shirts it's a Gildan Soft Style t-shirt, uh, Heather Military Green. That black ought to look pretty good on there. But it's calling for a pressure of approximately six, I think six to eight. Uh, let's see here. Yes, pressure six to eight. So what I like to do is go ahead and place a shirt on there, preferably before it gets heated up. It's currently in the heat mode, so um, I'm going to... Put this thing, I'm going to press it down just to kind of see where my pressures are. I'm currently at six, so that's that's a spot right there, but I'm going to want a little more on it. It said six to eight. That's, that's about seven. So maybe one other little crank. Each shirt will probably show something different that's that's seven still I may let it ride at seven if I see a problem with it I'll break it down a little bit but there we go press is heating we're gonna let it continue to heat and when it's ready we'll be getting after it yes sir now the name of the game in t-shirt printing is efficiency and I love to be efficient because I like to knock them out and get them done and not spend as much time, but the least amount of time 
on doing this and doing it right. So I usually set my shirts up in a group of the order that I wish to print them in, such as small, medium, large, extra large, 2X. But I usually start with the largest first, the 2Xs. And as I print them in the group, once I finish with that first group, I fold them up and put them in the box. That way, they're already packaged in the box, especially bulk orders. Bulk orders, I keep them all in a group, folded, put in the box, and I deliver them already grouped and ready to go for them. They can fold them individually, display them however they want. I'm sure they've got their own uh, ways of putting their stock up, but that's what I like to do. And again, I usually start with the largest first. That way the largest is at the bottom of the box and usually end with the smallest. That way the smallest is at the top of the box. Now I've already pulled all my shirts out. I've counted them all and I'm going to stage them in the way I want to press them and get them put in that box. Easy. Just grab and go. Grab and go. And that's what it's all about. So let Pooch get his shirt set up. As you can tell, ain't nothing special in here. I'll be putting them on the back of this shirt as I print them. I'll be putting them on the back of this chair. Chair, not shirt. I will fold them, set them in the box that I'm going to deliver them in, and I'll be done with it. But let's get after it. Yes, sir. So he's over on his side. Well, howdy, howdy. Pooch is out here working still. But look, I'm watching Justin Back Road Freedom and his guest Brian, the Vineyard Farmhouse. But I let him know Pooch is watching and listening as he's working. Let's get after it. This is what I was talking about. I got all my shirts laid across the back of that chair. They're all in groups, all sized, starting with the largest first. I'll work my way down to the smallest. And as I do them, and complete each set which size that is I will fold them and put them in the box but let's get after it. let's get the shirts going yes sir now I think we're ready so um let's get after it first off again I gotta put this here shirt on this press I'm gonna align it to the way I want you know what I think I'm gonna start on the back first that's a smaller area that um it won't be the big the big logo won't be placed on the shirt but anyway you want to get this thing centered which luckily I've got marks on here I can get it centered uh, bring it down to just to where that is just and I'm talking about the the rib of the collar I want to get that down just past which usually that's about right Again, I want to make sure everything is all straight. I'm going to give it a little quick five-second press. That's to draw the moisture out. Let me get my stuff ready. Okay. We got all of my transfers cut like I showed you earlier. I'll set them here. That way it's easy grabbing. And this is the back going between the shoulder blades. And... I'm going to set it, and it's usually about right in there. I like to try to get that nice and centered on there. Um, looks pretty good. Again, this is a five-second press, and let's go. Oh, it's a six-second press. And here we go. First one's off. Let me look at this real quick. Okay, yeah, that was... I'm going to do it one more time, just, just to make sure my first one. Okay, I'm going to peel that sucker off. Yeah, that black's going to look good on there. We'll take it off like so. I'm going to throw it over on the front side. And the same thing again. i got to get it nice and centered so I can put the R, iron sharpens iron. Bring that up. Bring that down. And usually I like to go four fingers. This is going to be the front. And it is reversed, so I've got to kind of get it centered in there. I like to look to see where the center of it is. And it looks to be about on the P. So four fingers down. 
get that baby set up in there like so I always kind of like to eyeball it it ain't always come out straight on the grids thank goodness the grids are on the back but uh, here we go let's go first press first shirt we'll see how it looks I'll show you and I'm gonna get after it oh yeah this is gonna look pretty good on there look at there can y'all see it iron sharpens iron that black does look good on the these uh, hunter, hunter Heather Green military there's the tag on the back I'm gonna take it over here and set it on this chair I've got two to do in this 2x size so here's my second one I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna place it on there whoops get it centered up now once I get in a roll man I usually move pretty quick but um you can probably hear Justin and Brian there in the background still. Four. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit different, but I'm still going to bring her down just to there. This is a large 2X, so it's a big shirt. I'm going to give it a quick press, the five-second press, to draw the moisture out. You always should do that. You take your Pathway logo, that's the ones I'm using currently, and place it in there. Now, as much as I've been doing this, I'm pretty good at eyeballing, so that's how I roll. I get to rolling quick with it. I'm going to press her down, six seconds. It looked pretty good. If it wasn't, that wasn't sticking, I could go seven. I could up the pressure a little, but it's looking good. Let's uh, get this other one on there. Get the front side done. Pull it up. Line it up. Let's see. Tag centered. Bring down. Put this. I always like to check the sides. This is how I usually check. Check the sides. Got my transfer here. Again, four finger down. I like to make sure it's lined up in the center again pretty close and here we go again five seconds easy up peeler look at there yep now I've got these set it's time for pooch to get after it we're gonna get after it yes sir I just got through watching Brian at the Vineyard Farmhouse premiere of him making those trainer cornhole boards for the 10 killer meetup and I must say that my buddy Brian is one heck of a craftsman and carpenter anything and everything I have watched him do is done with superior craftsmanship and obvious pride to my buddy Brian you do some awesome work I love you buddy we are on the last one and of course I said I started from the largest first and worked my way down to the smallest this is my small, the very last small, I might add. Got this quick little order knocked out. Getting her lined up. Making sure she's square, flush. Giving it a little heat. This is the back, so a little heat. Placing that back tag on there. Lining it up. And again, like I said, you do so many of these things, you get on a roll, and it's just keep on trucking. All right, there's the back, and let's get to the front. Line her up, measure her out, make sure she's good, place her, 
check it give it a little stretch double check a little quick press it's already hot so place that last transfer again I like doing three to four fingers from the collar and like I said you do this so many times you get on a roll and it's quick quick and dirty last one peel there you go folks iron sharpens iron pathway logo transfer express goof proofs look pretty nice too let's move to the next step like I told you I place them over the back I just fold them like so here's my box put them in the box now all I gotta do is print the invoice pack it and get it to the customer which we'll get on there tomorrow yes sir as you can tell they're all packed in there very nice 2x all the way up to the small I want to try something while I'm at it I got me a white Gildan soft style t-shirt I'm gonna throw this thing up in there let's see what size is that? that's an XL yep it's an XL looked a little big there at first a white soft style Gildan XL Put this thing, get her centered up, bring her down, just uh, position her real quick. I just got to see something. I just got to see. You know I had to do one at least. Just, so, just for my own references. I'm going to try to figure the center out on this. You always want to try to make it center and usually that center okay well you know what I got to put a little heat on her let's go ahead and get that five second moisture removal done little four fingers that's probably about right These are a tad different. You know, a few of these and I'd be rocking and rolling too. Looks like it's pretty centered pretty much. Let's make sure she's straight on the press and on the shirt. Okay, let's check it and see. Another six seconds. Same time, temperature, everything for these as well. Let's pull it off, take a look. Oh yeah. Looks pretty good. What do you think? Full-blown country look. Woo, that got a shock right there. Yes, sir. Full-blown full blown country logo here on a white t-shirt. That looks pretty good. Let's try something else here in a sec. Yes, sir. Okay. Like I told you, trying something different. Well, not really different. I'm just doing something a little different right now. Testing out a couple things. Again, I'm going to go four fingers. I got to make sure I'm good and centered. Y'all saw my other one. I got to bring this over just a hair. I like using a bolt on the back of this to make sure I'm centered. But I think that's going to work. Let's give it a shot. Whoops, that's only a five second. Let's bring her down. Let's go. Ten seconds on this particular transfer I hope it comes out good I'm making this for pretty okay let's try it oh yeah now this particular I'm gonna give it just a quick extra press for a minute this one is for pretty and it was an ultra color max so white t-shirt again with uh, 
the full-blown country logo in the back and for pretty I did a full-blown country pretty and pooch just wanted to see yeah that looks pretty good I do say can't wait to give it to my pretty but we're gonna try one more well let me show you my other one real quick y'all saw me press this one on the white t-shirt the full-blown country logo but I added pooch to the back I didn't have it in black I had it in orange but who cares it's my shirt I'll wear it like that but yeah they came out pretty good okie dokie well we've got all that knocked out let's turn this press off until next time thank you but um I got one more thing I'm gonna try and I'll bring you in on it yes sir all right let's get a gander on this I am about to press one of those small full-blown country logos on this here hat on my Fusion 360 IQ hat press from Stalls. That's my logo. I'm going to actually, before I put it on, I got to put place the hat on this press. I got to get it lined up and do a little preheat as well. I'm going to put it on here. I'm going to make sure I get it. And I like to actually press, put a little heat on it just to give it um, and check my pressures. Everything looks good. Temperatures are up where they need to be. A little hot on the top, but that's okay. I'm letting it go through a press time just so I can heat and kind of mold that hat to the uh, press here. I want to get it pressed down real good. Make sure it's set and level. Everything's looking pretty fair. I'm going to drop that uh, guard down. Well, it's a guard. It's a bar. But it actually keeps the hat in place. And now, I'm going to place my logo on there. I'm going to try to get her good and centered. Let's see here. Where are we at on there? Again, I'm using this Goof Proof transfer again on here on this hat hopefully it looks pretty good I'm hoping it does okay I'm gonna place my foam pad over it and I'm gonna press her down let her go I hope it comes out good this is a trial so you are gonna see with me let's see come on let's look good Let's look good. Kind of anxious here. I'm going to peel that off. Oh, and it didn't go. What's going on here? I wonder what's happening. Hmm. Okay. It didn't go. It's still on the, on the transfer. So I'm going to try something different. I think I know what it is, actually. All right. Put a little pressure on it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go without that foam pad. I probably should get a cover sheet and put on it, but I don't think so. Six, a little bit more. That's at seven. That ought to work right there. All right, I'm gonna put that back down. I'm going to double check, you know, I'm a little concerned on this. I'm going per instructions, but let's just see one more time here. One more time here. All right, now let's go. I hope this works. Maybe too hot. There's a difference. On these things the bottom platen is heated as well as the top and I don't know oh okay that worked a little bit 
check that out that worked a little bit it's not the best quality but I think I can you know you always got to do one I've never done a goof proof transfer on a hat I've usually used vinyl or leather patches and but this looks okay I had one little slip up in there it looks like where one portion didn't quite stick but again I'll wear it I don't care but it did come out pretty good let me turn this off because I just, this was just a sample I just wanted to try it but um yeah check it out if you can see it not too bad let's just see little pooch put it on on his dome let's see what it looks like of course I got to give it the old crease that pooch likes put that on there put it on my head snap it of course I got to wear them to break them in but what do you think folks look pretty good I hope it does yeah I think it'll be fine I'll tweak and play with it a little more but I do have something else coming up that I think you folks probably like and I'm excited I'll let you in on it here in a sec now I don't know if you folks have heard of this you can't really see it because of that label but it's we create and what pooch has got here is a laser engraving machine now I've never messed with these things I'm looking forward to messing with it because you can do all kinds of stuff with a laser engraver but my sole purpose was to get into making my own leather patches for hats now I've usually bought them or I've used let um, vinyl but I'm wanting to engrave and cut my own leather patches for my hats but I'll be breaking this out of the box soon and we'll be playing with it I mean you can again you can do multiple things you can cut engrave acrylic mirrors glass wood and I think it's gonna be fun so once I get breaking this out, I'll be bringing you along, show you how it's done. I'll even let you learn with me. But anyway, that's something to look forward to. I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait to do it. But folks, I've knocked out the shirts. I've tested a hat. I've watched Back Road Freedom Live. And I've watched Brian at the Vineyard Farmhouse Live. Well, Brian had a premiere on his um, uh, trainer cornhole boards. And man, did he do an excellent job. Not only crafting and making those things for the 10 Killer Meetup, but his video. The way he filmed it, edited it, went through the whole procedure of building them. Good job, Brian. It was very cool to watch. But folks... Pooch is about to cut out of here. He's got to get ready to go horizontal. Got a lot going on tomorrow, hopefully. I'm kind of hoping... Well, I'm kind of hoping Pretty and Pooch goes camping tomorrow night. We'll see. But folks, appreciate you. Stay tuned. Hit the thumbs up. And go ahead, and if you ain't subscribed, please do. Remember, everybody needs a friend named Pooch. And they call me Pooch. Yes, sir. Check out that hat.